Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, I thought I would talk about um, an interesting experience I had in Los Angeles. I lived there actually for, uh, now that I think about it, 50 years uh, that I lived in Los Angeles. And uh, it's an interesting town. I think I'll go into more detail about Los Angeles in general. Like everything in life, people have misconceptions. If you go someplace as a tourist, you don't know anything. Uh, people live in certain areas, and then they only know that area. And uh, so we'll get into that. But I'd like to talk about my travels to a very strange world. The world without women. Now, this happened in Los Angeles. I was uh, I'm not sure what brought me to that. I remember why I went there. I, I must have seen this, because this is pre-internet times. Uh, I heard about, maybe they were on a talk show or some other things, about a particular store that was, uh, I guess you'd call them rave stores now. And they had all these cool little lighting stuff. And I always used a lot of lighting and cool little lights um, in a lot of the technologies that I built. And always enjoyed having little kind of lights, um, you know, flashing lights, lights that were in rings and other things. And these could be used in a lot of psychic ways for training, etc. So, again, this was pre-internet in the fact that you just couldn't go online and get things easily. Um, so, it was all based on the fact that, gee, you'd have to get a catalog, you have to send away from it, you have to do it, or you have to physically go to a store. So, this store was about two hours from where I was living in the Palm Springs area. This, so, uh, I drove to this store and didn't really pay attention, uh, you know, you had to get maps and everything else, and I was pretty uh, uh, well understood where this store was in general. So you get the maps, you get the instructions, yada yada. This is how things were done in the ancient times, you know, when the Bible had just come to mankind. So the whole idea is that um, so I drove to this store directly, and it never really even occurred to me of what neighborhood it was in. It was in the uh, Los Angeles area. It was not in a particularly bad area, meaning you not you weren't going into some. Uh, East Los Angeles uh, area or some Watts type area which uh, I have been in and never had any problems but these are thought to be bad neighborhoods um, so I didn't even think about it so we went to the store and they had a lot of cool stuff and I bought a few items and of course uh, what do you do this is when uh, Starbucks had just come to uh, Los Angeles um, Apparently, it was up in the Seattle area for many, many years, but it started spreading all there. So, what do you do when you go out? You know, we decided, you know, everybody does this. This is what you do. It's almost like the law now. You go and you get, uh, but, you know, you're tired. You've been driving for two hours, you're doing so, so forth. And, of course, um, uh, we got out of the store after buying these uh, different things. They had rings and necklaces that light. This is when they had all these little LED things. And back then, or at that particular time, this was very cool. And this um, store specialized in it. It was a rave-type store. So, um, so we went in there, and of course, um, uh, the store itself had a lot of nice stuff, etc. It was ran by two guys, uh, etc. We didn't really think much of anything. It's the usual stuff. Um, but we decided to get a coffee over at Starbucks, which is basically just around the corner there that we had seen. So we go to Starbucks there, and I was with my, um, at this time, I was with my wife. We decided to go into the Starbucks. And when we entered the Starbucks, there must have been 35 people there. Um, and they were all males. So we thought, well, this is really odd. You know, this is, we've entered the planet without women. That was very strange. And um, it was very odd. I mean, you generally see a mix, even if it's a waitress or other things. Well, this was strictly male. And um, the store we'd just been was run by two guys. So it was this whole now. And then we just occurred to us, we said, you know, we drove over here and we saw several people on bikes and walking around. They're all males. There are no females. So it's just weird. Now, you don't think about this in regular life, and um, it's very odd when it kind of slaps you in the face. So, um, so we went uh, and got our coffees, and of course the uh, 
need for uh, to use the toilets, etc. So we're in there about 10, 15 minutes, and there's never any women coming in. Not only that, we started to be kind of looked at, because my wife was the only woman. So people were noticing us like, who the fuck are you? Now I understand, and of course, I understand even better now um, uh, in other areas, but I certainly understand what some poor black people went to when they were the only people there, how people would stare at them and other things. And you just felt a negative energy being poured at you, or at least an odd, inquisitive energy. So, we took care of our business, went back to the car, and drove around uh, a little bit. But I mean, we're heading back home, obviously. I'm not sure where we went after that, but... Um, but we, in this area, we couldn't find any women anywhere. That was just weird. And it just occurred to me, I said, well, what planet have we visited here? Oh, this is West Hollywood. This is the West Hollywood planet, otherwise known as the uh, gay section of Los Angeles, where the gays... Uh, congregate and go to entirely. And what's interesting is that I guess gay males don't mix with gay females. Um, which never occurred to me. I thought maybe all the gays get together, but I guess they don't like each other. I don't know. I'm not sure what the policy of that is. Um, or how that works. Certainly didn't work in this area of West Hollywood because it was all men. Plain and simple. So I guess that could be a paradise if you're gay because uh, you're always coming in contact with uh, what is stimulating. But, you know, I lived and actually drove up from an area that was mostly homosexual, where I lived uh, next to and very near, which was Palm Springs, California, which has turned entirely gay. Uh, it was starting to do that, but now uh, at that particular time, it was now pretty much entirely gay. All the shops are gay, the people there, the mayor's gay, everything else. And, uh, of course, I worked with a lot of gay people in the Palm Springs area, um, a lot of females. I was surprised how many females are actually gay. and It's quite surprising. In Germany, it's at least 60% of the females are gay. So, um, And they walk around with buzz cuts. I guess that fits. Uh, but it's a, it's a very gay, uh, it's a very homosexual country anyway because of their Arabic backgrounds. But um, So it, was, it, it didn't even occur to me, and of course... Um, I had always been around a lot of gay people, so it was never a big thing or really even care. I, you know, the problem is I have nothing against anybody. There are no good people. There are no good anything else, and that includes uh, persecuted uh, people for sexuality and everything, because they do what the society tells them to do. So they want to be treated a certain way, but they will jump on you to be part of the crowd. So there are no good people, and uh, it's like everything else. Uh, there are good individuals, not groups. So, um, this is the way the world is. But I thought it was very, very strange. So you can see you walk into this coffee shop with 35 people and not a single woman anywhere. And then you're driving on the streets and there are no females for whatever that means whatsoever. But it is quite interesting to the land or the planet of West Hollywood. Until next time.